Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Cop for Klippa, short for my podcast. We'd have been something I'm thinking about this upcoming week, and we each should have had a little bit of coffee. Now, today's topic is all this idea of micro dosing. But before we get into micro dosing, uh, just I'm fired up. I just finished a sandbag workout. If you have not incorporated the sandbag in your training, make sure to give that a shot. I was just doing a 100 pound uh, sandbag to shoulder over the shoulder with some squats. Uh, Basically three rounds, 10 and 10. I was inspired by a buddy of mine, Jimmy Letchford. Shout out to uh, Go Ruck and Jimmy. Now let's talk about this idea of um, microdosing. So some of you guys might be like, dude, I've heard of microdosing, but normally they talk about that with, you know, shrooms or or whatever it is, whatever people microdose these days. I'm talking about in particular microdosing adversity, small doses of adversity. And and the inspiration for this came, I was just on a webinar recently. And I brought this concept up and it seemed to really resonate with the audience I was talking to. So I thought I'd bring it up here for those who haven't heard me talk about this. So one of the biggest reasons why I think everybody should be exercising, yes, I think they should get better blood markers, look better, you know, naked, uh, all those kind of things. Everybody knows that about fitness. Everybody knows that if you work out, you're probably going to live a healthier lifestyle. You're probably going to look better in a bathing suit. You're probably going to feel better. They know all those things. So if they're not inspired to work out by now, Telling them those things probably won't work, but what if we explain to them by by going to the garage, by coming into our gyms, by going to the regular gym and pushing yourself through a workout, you're, you're giving yourself these little micro doses, these little, little ones every single day, just little, little touch points that start to, um, you know, really start to build up this mental resilience, um, you know, uh, there was an MMA fighter who recently finished his fight and he talked about the happiness that he receives and you have to fortify your mind was a, was a quote that he made. And I think that's a great example of how you can microdose adversity to fortify your mind in this idea that you will get hit with larger dose of adversity in real life. Everybody will. But if we can microdose this little bit of fitness adversity, I think over time you get better and better and better. You get to a point where you don't want to do another rep. You push through it. Boom. They're just a little, little check mark. You, you push through it again, little check mark before you know it when something real happens in life or even something small, you're better able to handle it. So the inspiration for today, something that's fresh in my mind after doing this webinar is this idea that if you're not microdosing adversity through fitness, even by going by a walk, backward sled pull, rucking, coming in our gyms, et cetera, I think you're missing out on a really fantastic component of fitness. So go out there. If you're not motivated by you know, the bathing suit body, then get motivated by your ability to overcome struggles that happen in the future. And if you're a gym owner, if you're a coach, if you're a business owner, man, and you're not regularly exercising and getting, you know, getting exposure to this, I think you're really missing out. So these Kava Klippa is just stuff that's on my mind, right? A little bit of family, a little bit of business, a little bit of fitness. Every single week is just something different. Looking forward to seeing you again next week. If you like these, simple ask. Go back, check out the other episodes. See which ones that resonate with you and leave us a rating, leave us a review on the podcast. Definitely helps us out. Keep crushing it. See you again next week. Let's go.